Hey everyone, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here live at Feinstein's 54 Below with Tony nominee and Emmy Award winning actress, Liz Calloway. Hi Liz, Hi. how are you? I'm very good. Well, we have a lot to talk about, about your show, The Beat Goes On, okay. which will be here July 25th through 28th and September 10th. Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam. Wonder who he'll interview. Call me Adam.com. In our phone interview, you mentioned that the summer is a fun time to sing songs from the 60s, which is why you booked the show for July. And what makes this time of year so much fun to sing these songs? It just, I don't know, it just seems like 60s music, Beach Boys. Mm -hmm. Petula Clark, Beatles, it's just, you know, um, there's a lot of very thoughtful songs mm -hmm. from the 60s, which, and I'm definitely doing some of them, but I don't know, it just feels like a natural fit. Mm. Even just, it's like bright colors and, and fun, and I, I think we all need some fun right now. We do, <laughs> yes, yes, we do. And uh, one of the other things you mentioned is that these, this music is also like an escapist. And, um, ways to escape. So, where do these songs take you? Like, where did they take you when you first heard them? Some of the music just takes me back to being in my room with my, you know, listening to the radio or with my cast, first cast albums and my hairbrushes, my microphone. <laughs> and, and then there's some songs that, even though I listened to them then, I didn't really realize that they would be something I would want to sing until I started experimenting and just singing through a million songs from the 60s. Mm. And so some I, I like to, you know, dive in and find my own take and my own, you know, and, and I'm doing some songs that, uh, an example is like Both Sides Now. It's a song I've always loved, but I never... I just never felt I was ready to sing it, mm. or I, that I needed to sing it. Mm -hmm. And when I was going through looking for some new songs to do here, I sang through it and I was like, yes, I'm ready now. And it, it, felt, it, it, it felt like the right time, I felt like I was old enough, I had enough life experience. Oh, well, we can't wait to hear it. I mean, today you performed Viviana Jet Plane, which was so great. Thank you. And and you really do, you, you said, you said in our interview, you said it here, that um, you approach your song as, as a storyteller. And your version of Viviana Jet Plane, I was like, it was as if I'd never heard the song before. You know, because someone, someone, someone else just said that to me. It's yeah. like, I never heard that before. Yeah. I, you know, and I've had people go, I didn't really like that song before until I heard it. Or, you know, I think so much of that music we heard as, we heard as CDs or records, and you were doing other things. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, so you didn't really pay attention to it. Mm. Now, one thing you did recently on social media is you asked your fans on Facebook to suggest songs yes, for did. the show. Okay, I'm still gunning for Dolly Parton's Dumb Blonde, but... Did you take any of the suggestions and or and, yes. and are you willing to reveal which one you chose or are you going to keep that a surprise? I'd kind of like to keep it a surprise. I okay. mean, actually, a, a few. Oh, okay. uh, actually, a few were from that and that was very helpful. But was, what was also kind of funny is that there were several suggestions and um, of songs that I'm already going to do. Oh and some that I've already recorded. Mm. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I gotta get people to get, get this <laughs> album, <laughs> get it out there. And actually, my, my Beat Goes On album is, uh, is only available digitally oh, now. Wow. And so I actually have, you know, because I always sell CDs here after my shows, I have download cards that are in the shape of, of they're awesome. They look like CD covers, so if someone wants an autograph or whatever, oh. and then you go and you download it. So, oh, that's so um, great. So I think it's kind of ironic that I'm bringing the 60s music back and then it and then people will enjoy it now digitally yes. instead of uh, on albums or eight track tapes <laughs> or cassettes, you know. It's the it's the 60s meets the digital age. That's right. Yes. yes. But actually that's kind of that's sort of the point of this too. Mm. It's like the, some of this music I've been singing, you know, I started singing maybe in the late 1900s, mm -hmm. uh, 1900s. <laughs> late, oh boy, you look amazing. 15th <laughs> interview and I'm gone. Uh, the, 
<laughs> the late amazing. nine. T- thank you so much. You know the 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 changes in the last century of plastic surgery is astounding. <laughs> The 1990s, I think, is when I sang some of the uh, these songs first. So it's it's really interesting singing them in what is this 2017? 2017 <laughs> Thank yes. you so much. Yes. Well, everybody watching, we're gonna we're, we're gonna wrap this up. Get you your coffee. Okay. Everybody watching, come see Liz July 25th through 29th and September 10th. Yes. Just ask anybody who's had um, had um, for the business of show. Call me Adam.com.